Hi, good morning. In this video, I'm going to show you how to reference a Revit file and how to reference a CAD file and how to reference a PDF. Okay, so for that, I'm going to create a new project. I can choose any template for this example. So here we have our properties and project browser. Okay. So this is a Revit file. For example, I'm an architect and I'm starting the project. So I'm going to draw a small house. And uh, I can define my intent okay so let's say this is the architecture intent model this is an architecture intent model and i have to do structural model for the same but i'm going to create the structural model in another file so i'm going to save this file in a location okay so let's say i'm going to save this file here I'm saving this file here. Now I'm going to create a structural model. Let's close this file and create a new project. This is for structural model. So I'm going to use a structural template. Now architecture model is already ready and I have to reference that model to start with the structural model. So I can link the model so in the project browser select revit links then right click and you can go for new link then select the model we have an option to position the revit link okay so you can use shared coordinate if you are referring to world coordinate so far now i'm going to start with the internal origin center to center and then i'm going to open now you see here this is a structural uh, view that's why i don't see anything but if i change this discipline to architecture then i can see the architecture element so that's the difference between architecture and the structure okay so if i go to 3d view and this is also a structural discipline view so let's make it as coordination so that i can see everything okay let's make it as architecture and so that i can see okay so i can go to visibility graphics and enable all the elements so that i can see the roof okay so this is how we have to link a Revit file. You can also go to insert. You can go to the ribbon menu, select insert tab, and here in the left you can see link Revit. These are same options. New link and clicking on the Revit link will give the same option. You can also uh, manage your links by selecting the manage link tool. So here you can see the uh, link the Revit model. If you want to add more a Revit model, you can add here. Okay, so we have multiple options. We have three options. We'll say let it be uh, let it be clear. Okay, so here you can right click and add a new link, or you can go to insert and you can link Revit, or you can go to manage link. So you can open manage link here also. Okay, you can use manage link and in this dialog box you can add a revit model you can add a cad model you can add a dwf you can add a pdf you can add an image okay okay so this is how we have to link a reference file so we have two options one is link one is import what's the difference between link and import if you import for example import CAD if you import a CAD that will create a copy of a CAD file inside the Revit file 
that will make the Revit file bigger. So we always use a link so that the file will be saved outside the Revit file and uh, we can see the presentation or we can just see the lines inside Revit. So that's a good option. Always use a link. Okay, that will keep your file lighter. Okay, so that's all about today. I hope now you learned about how to link a Revit file and we can also link IFC model. We can link a CAD, we can link a topography and um, we can link uh, a civil 3D file with the link topography option and we can also link a DWF markup a point cloud and a navis work file uh, as a coordination model you can also link uh, from autodesk docs just to do some trial and error and you will understand better okay so that's all about this video if you are having any doubt in uh, linking a reference file then please let me know thank you bye bye